we need to make a profit no matter what the numbers are or else we're not going to be here. For the past 37 years, owner and operator of the Lake Elmo Inn, John Schultz, has made this place home, working what he describes as two lifetimes. Here's the lady that hired me. She was a uh, dolly. Considering employees like family. When his restaurant was shut down in March due to COVID-19, his staff went from 180 to 25. I can't bring back everybody that I had. I, it just, it, and it sickens you because some of my employees have been with me. One guy's 19 years, another one's 22. I have a sous chef that I'm not able to bring back and that's, he's been with me 10 years. It tears me up. With an older clientele, Schultz says he's going above and beyond to keep customers safe. This is Alice. Uh, Requiring Alice. staff to have their temperatures taken before every shift, answering a questionnaire and wearing masks, as well as encouraging frequent and thorough hand washing. We are doing a great job. So that's why it hurts so much to hear the governor and other agencies talk about putting more restrictions on us. There's a lot of us that are doing great jobs and doing everything and even more than they're asking us to do. Schultz says if there's some positives to take away from this experience, it's that COVID has forced them to be better at business, watching every dollar. And then you used to, where we were sitting out on the patio, this is the drive around and it went around the end. And cutting down on their inventory and menu. Ian also operates a catering business, his wife Chris running that component. And for months when social gatherings were discouraged by the governor, Schultz says between the restaurant and catering, they lost millions in sales. It's really, really hard to accept and, and to struggle through and get your mind in the right direction because you can slowly slip into depression or into dark areas. And the, and at my business, I can't afford that. These people want to see smiles. They want to see, they want to be treated nice. Like many businesses in the service industry, they listened to customers and adapted to circumstances, creating box meals to go and kits to make Manhattans. Good. Oh, the pecan chicken salad. Oh, it's very popular. Schiltz, who started washing dishes at the inn when he was just 16, has been recognized quite extensively for his culinary talents. See, uh, we've won a number of awards for a buffet, just locally, but uh, to get recognition from Travel Leisure Magazine was awesome. He believes running the Lake Elmo Inn has been a calling, one he intends to continue answering. 126 restaurants have already closed for good since March in the Twin Cities, and we're not gonna be one of them. We're gonna, we're gonna make it.